bring people to the table in order to uh, create inclusive communities. And so you can't have that unless you come to the table and talk about it. Especially the town we live is more widely dominant than black. I can say that my kids and like another family are the only black at the school. <laughs> so you always scared to talk about race and racism, but now for myself I'm more you know I'm more aware how to approach that subject with my kids. So I'm happy about their program. Good start to get us somewhere, start talking about it. And um, we don't realize that sometimes our kids may not, you know, get those talks because maybe we don't know how to start it or some other friends don't know how to start it. And really made me think a whole lot more of what I need to say with my grandchildren and, um, you know, have the conversations that we need to have. I appreciate it, being able to dialogue with other parents. Um, I especially value the conversation around advocacy and good, good trouble and how we can encourage our children to be the advocates of today and tomorrow. What was your favorite part? Seeing the wild animals. This conversation should not start, um, you know, when, you know, a, a kid is in his teens. If it starts, then it's great, but it should start K through four. It should start when they're kids. When they're able to talk, they should be able to talk about this kind of stuff so that they're better equipped to have the tools to talk about it with other folks.